are we making next? We are making mulled wine. Mulled so wine. don't drink too much sherry now. Okay, just one more sec. This is my bottle for Christmas, mate. It's half gone for this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just <laughs> got me into the mood now, Christmas. Right, okay. So um, I'm just zesting my lemons in mm -hmm. a different way to how you would use sort of grape to grate Okay, it. yeah. So, I'm just taking my knife down the side and just taking it off. So here now you've got hardly any of the white because it's the lemon peel, the taste of lemon. Right. And it's the white that's bitter. So we don't want ah, that. Ah, right. It's a good tip. So we're basically going to do this to two of the lemons. Okay. Then we're going to juice them. We're going to put the juice in as well. That's I've got awesome. a. I'll show you my juicer. I've got an antique juicer. <gasps> Isn't it beautiful? Old school. I like it. Because I am nice. a bit old school. Like no, bit. old school is better, I think, sometimes. It yeah, like it, it works really well. Good tip when you're juicing mm -hmm. lemons is to give them a really good squeeze. Before you do it. And so what does that do? It helps in release their juice. You can also put mm -hmm. them in the microwave, but I'm not a fan of that because I've done it before. That sounds they, weird, yeah. And they boot. Yeah, it's sounds weird. No, it does work really well. It's a really effective way of doing mm -hmm. it. But you can see now that that's how juicy that is already. It's nice and mushy. Do you want to juice right. them for me? Yeah, I'll juice that for you, it's no problem. Okay, fantastic. So also, we met. In a food mm -hmm. festival. Yes. It yes. was always going to be food related. <laughs> it was, yes. <laughs> it was never enough. I'm always lurking around in a food festival somewhere. <laughs> and when I went, you introduced me to a lot of Neef local producers and their food's amazing, which I did not know about. Yeah, well, Neef Food Festival is held every year in October. It's the 10th anniversary this year, and mm -hmm. I was lucky enough to demo. I was really pleased. Yeah, you made it. Yeah, I was. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Um, it, they bring some of the finest producers from all across Wales, really. Yeah. Uh, it's where we got my cider that we were using earlier yeah. in the gammon. Um, my favourite cheese, Cows Canath, was there. Okay. Um, Cuisine Lucas, I don't know if you've tried them. They're like a Welsh, um, uh, they're like a cream liqueur. It's really, really Did you tasty. take me to that stand? Was I, I didn't stand take you to that stand. Oh. You were working, so I couldn't take you back. Okay, it. okay. Um, so yeah, there's some brilliant producers of food in Wales, and that's what I really like to promote as much yeah. as I can. Um, you know, I use a lot of Welsh beer in my yeah. um, cooking. On the demo, I used mm -hmm. um, Neath Brewery beer. Yeah. Uh, because I think you don't really need to go very far outside of your front door in Wales to find some of the best produce from, well, better than across the world, really. Definitely. Let me okay. wipe this down. Put it off. Any preference of wine that I should pour in? When I'm doing mulled wine, I tend to use one I would like to drink because at the yeah. end of the day, you are drinking it. We are going to change the flavour slightly, but that wine is going to come through. Yeah. So choose one you like to drink. It doesn't have to be an expensive one. It doesn't have to be the cheapest one either. Yeah. Just one you like. These were about £5 a bottle. Okay. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a Merlot. Yeah, it's a Merlot, Merlot yeah. that I, I like to drink. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to add to that now two cinnamon cloves. Okay. Uh, I got some lovely cloves here. Smell that. Smells like Christmas. Definitely smells like Christmas. Get gonna those put in. in. Just a little sprinkling of it. Okay. And my own thing, I like to put in a couple of star anise. Okay. A little bit of a licorice mm -hmm. flavour. Not too many. Just two of those. Oh, and I way. also put in a bay leaf. Okay. What is that? Mm. Just I just like to, just the little bit of a flavour of bay in there. Okay. It's not a very strong flavour. It's quite subtle. Mm -hmm. um, but I really like it. I also put in my minced meat at the okay. top sometimes. This year I use rosemary, but sometimes I use okay. bay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take this now. We're gonna put it on the stove, and we're gonna Ooh. put it on a gentle heat. Okay. And once it's nice and warm, we're gonna stir through then 150 grams of this lovely soft brown Amazing. sugar. Okay. 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 Get it on. I'm drinking my sherry. <laughs> Wine's ready. No more mm. sherry for you. Oh, right. There we are. Now wait. Now before you try it, uh, do you want to try the amaretto or the brandy in it? Um, amaretto. Amaretto is my favourite. Amaretto. Okay. I'm gonna put a little drop in there for you. It's not piping hot. I took off a little while mm -hmm. ago. You. Give that a little taste. Okay. Everything. Smells amazing. Smell the oranges. Yeah, it tastes really good. Is that nice? Best smelled one I've had. <laughs> good. Good. Right. Not too much of that now. We've got to carry on cooking. 